Hello everybody, my name is Dennis Jensen and I just thought I would make another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be about simple lighting in uh, Maya. I will go through uh, how you can set up your shadows, how you can set up rendering, the, uh, what different lights there are in uh, Maya and what kind of lights you should use. I'm gonna use Maya 2011 for this and um, I'm gonna use Mental Ray as rendering, for rendering. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, so let's just get started. I made this awesome scene and um, I will show you quickly how to set up a light. I'm just gonna use a spotlight, you can use whatever light you want. And when you create a light you automatically uh, select it. I'm just gonna look to the select the camera because I find that easier. And then I'm gonna light the whole scene back to perspective. And if you press this little icon you'll see the light and if you go to windowing hmm, windowing well I'm not quite sure why it doesn't show shadows it should Ah, it's because I didn't turn them on yet. <laughs> okay, so with our light selected, uh, you can uh, see the settings for it here. And you can go down to shadows. You can choose a color. I'm just going to leave it black. You can set your depth mat shadow attributes. And if you press that, you can see you get a, a shadow. Um, resolution, you can change. You can make it higher, I'm just going to make it 1024. Uh, it will make it the edges more smooth. So let's just try to see the difference in uh, rendering. Normally this is set to my software, I'm just going to go to mental way. I'm going to go to quality. <laughs> if my computer is not too slow. And max sample level, I'm going to set that to 2 because otherwise it will be very pixelated but this is actually all you need to set if you want to make a more nice of a rendering um, and I'm just gonna set this to HD because I like that <laughs> anyway let's try rendering with uh, with um, 512 resolution And you can see that the shadow is uh, very ugly. So let's uh, keep this image and render again. Is there any difference at all? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> okay. Maybe they changed it <laughs> during uh, the new Maya. Okay, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Uh, it did used to make the shadows um, more nice, but let's try to enter filter. And you can see this uh, smooth. It's smooth. This is the shadow. And the BS, I'm gonna set that to zero. Let's just see. Hmm. I think. Okay, actually, I just wanted to show you this. I never use this um, because I think there's a more nicer way to make shadows in a. Uh, in Maya, so I'm just gonna turn this off again. You can play around with it, it used to be different, 
it used to work for me. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go down to use retrace shadows. And this gives you some settings. Um, why doesn't my shadow show? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So this shadow will um, cast shadow more realistically because you will have an object and when the shadow starts it will be very sharp but as we go on it will get more blurry um, so let's see how it looks and you can see this looks very sharp compared to uh, the other one we had so I'm just gonna keep this and if I set the light radius up to 1 it will be more blurry at the edges so um, oops. Um, to get it more smooth you, you need to find a balance between light radios and shadow rays so let's try with 12 and you can already see it gets more smooth and it's it has a hard edge where the shadow starts so you can see it's a lot better than the first one but actually I think I will send it up to 24 you shouldn't get this too high because it will uh, blast up your render time it's all about balance when you are uh, Rendering, you can see this is pretty smooth. Um, the last setting for this is a uh, ray depth limit, and this means if you are looking through a window and you got shadows in the win behind the window, uh, you won't see them if this is set to one. So it basically means how many layers of uh, transparency can you see the shadows through. It's a bit complicated, but in this scene it doesn't really matter um, I can it will pump up the render time so you should think about it if you set it up but uh, it's pretty easy to do and to think about anyway this is the first part of the tutorial I just wanted to show you how you could uh, make a nice render quickly with uh, quickly shadows and 